So this is the new Nissan Duke. We're going to review this today. I want to start by covering the front of it. I love it. Those old ugly headlights on the old Duke have gone. It's all streamlined. It's lovely. I love the front grille. I love these LED daytime running lights. It's got fog lights. This colour blue, I absolutely love it. And we're going to come around to the side. And the one thing I really like is these alloys. Why? Because from a distance, they look like this black bit looks like a gap, but it's not. It's actually plastic. Um, and it's to help with um, saving petrol, I suppose, or battery usage. Really, really like that. So like I said, from a distance, you probably see on the camera lens that it looks like it goes straight through to the car. Of course, it's a black part of the alloy, but it's not. Um, again, we've got black wing mirrors. We've got a black roof. The wing mirrors have also got cameras in them, um, which when you're parking, I love that part. This is also keyless entry, so the keys are currently inside the car, but when we press this button here, this will automatically unlock and unlock the car if you've got the keys on yourself. So we're going to come round to the back, and the back of it is really, really, really nice. Again, completely different to the old one. You've got more curves on it. You've got more things that point out, whereas the old one was quite boring, I thought. I didn't like the old Duke at all. But this one, I really do like this car. So now, we're going to cover the transfer. I will mention, the transfer in this video is going to be me coming out of the car rather than me going in, simply because I need assistance getting in the car, whereas getting out is just a slide out. Um, and when I say assistance, I only need that because it's a little bit higher up than what I'm normally used to. Right, so now we're going to cover the transfer. Um, this is going to be one of me getting out. Um, so, and the reason for that I should also mention is simply because it's a little bit higher. Um, so I need assistance getting in, there's only two of us. So, this is the getting out bit. as easy as that. So this is the inside of the new Nissan Duke. I'm really surprised with it. I love these leather seats. This has actually also got both sound system in the headrests, which I really like that. The inside is completely different to the old Duke, so we've got a nice, real clear display up on the speed dials, a nice steering wheel with autopilot, I love a bit of autopilot, um, we've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, DAB Radio, Sat Nav, all built in, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you do have to use as a wire, because um, so you literally have to plug your phone in, it's not wireless. Um, this is your standard um, automatic, which is part neutral, reverse and drive. Um, but I mean, it's brilliant. I don't normally like gearbox like that, but this is absolutely great. It's also got an electronic handbrake and an e-pedal button, which you'll find in most electric cars to kind of regenerate um, the charge and the battery. So yeah, really, really nice inside. <laughs> We've come to the end of the review so we're going to cover the ratings first one is accessibility i'm going to score that at three certainly for me because it's a little bit higher for me to get in than what i'm normally used to practicality again i'm going to score it at three simply because the boot is big enough for my wheelchair um but still i think for me personally i could do with a bit of bigger a bit of a bigger boot um comfort i'm going to score it at four because it's massively improved compared to the old duke and performance again i'm going to score it a four because once again it is completely different and a lot quicker than the old duke 
Um, so that being said, I really would recommend this new Duke. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or follow. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>